Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are back with some more Minecraft crazy craft. And today guys, we have an exciting video for you. Today we are creating our first Iron Man suit and we are finally getting into the Legends mod in Minecraft Crazy Craft 4.0. So, without further ado, let's get straight into it. So, off stream, we have been working a lot. We did a lot of mining here, as you can see. Uh, we have plenty of resources. Um, if we look at our map, I think. Uh, so, we're here now in the cave. We are much further, so let me show you on the map. Uh, we started back here, and we've kind of done a bunch of miners' dreams, and now we're all the way over here. So, we've been doing a lot of mining to get all these resources that we need to make the iron man suit now one of the first things i want to start off this video with is uh we got a lot of emc from mining so we can now create a diamond chest plate and have a full set of diamond armor so let's craft ourselves the chest plate right now there we go now we have full diamond armor that's perfect we also got a mushroom pet that uh, apparently fills empty bowls of mushrooms too which is pretty cool um we actually got it here we have the waypoint here um we climbed all the way up here as you can see uh let me shift so i don't fall off we climbed ourselves all the way up here to get to these chests up here because they have ice in them and let me explain right now why we needed to get ice and why we piled all the way up there just for some ice. So um, if we look here at the crafting recipes, so obviously, if you didn't know, to make the Iron Man armors, you need to make a Stark workbench. There's a lot of things that goes into this. So I'm going to break it all down for you guys and tell you guys what you guys need to make these. But that is only for the Stark armors. For the all the other superhero and supervillain armors, um you need a suit assembly unit and this thing takes a lot of different uh materials and whatnot to make but not only do you have to make the suit assembly you also have to make a generator to power it and that's the part that involves this ice that we're talking about it needs a temperature regulator and an engine which the regulator requires ice so that's why we piled up all the way up there to get the ice I do believe we have enough materials to make ourselves the Stark Workbench, the generator, and the suit assembly unit. So let's just get straight into it, guys. Um, we'll start with the Stark Workbench. Not sure where I'm going to put this stuff yet. I need to make a <laughs> better house. but So <clears throat> the Stark Workbench, it is not as expensive as the suit assembly, but it is still pretty expensive. So you need a crafting table. You should all know how to make that by now. <laughs> Um, so let's start with this. So you need electronics. To make electronics, you just need four iron and five redstone. Um, I already crafted that, and I have it in here in the EMC table, because it has EMC value. So we can just pull out as many as we need now. Then you need titanium ore, which I have plenty of here. So to make the Stark Workbench, in total, what you're going to need is eight titanium, two redstone repeaters, eight electronics, a crafting table, an additional, and an additional type two titanium. So let's get straight into crafting this. So to make the Stark workbench, you need Stark tech, and to make those, you need four high tech electronics, redstone, and titanium. <clears throat> and to make the high tech electronics, you need the regular electronics with redstone repeaters. So it is a long process, but first, let's get into making this right here. The high tech electronics so we need to put our four and now eight electronics two resident repeaters and our eight titanium ingots and then we have in ourselves enough high tech electronics to make ourselves some stark electronics so the only thing i did forget to grab is we need um a couple of redstone ingots so let's grab ourselves with that i don't know why i said ingots just redstone but uh so we have that now and now we can craft this. We put two redstone. Actually, we don't even need two redstone. And we calculate the titanium wrong as well. Hold on. So we just need to do real quick. Grab ourselves a little bit more titanium. There you go. Good thing we grabbed extra. <laughs> now we would not have been able to make this right now. So here we go. Now we can get it done this time. 
And there we go. There's our four Stark tech. <clears throat> and now we can make ourselves the Stark workbench. So we're going to need click on that. And our crafting table, our two Stark tech, and our two titanium ingots. And we have some left over, which is great. And now we have ourselves our Stark workbench. Perfect. So we kind of have a tiny house here, so I don't really know where to put it. Can this thing float? Yeah, no, that's not good. Give it back. <laughs> what about like right here? That's not bad. I just need a bigger house. I don't like it there either, though. What the heck? Mind everything but the Stark workbench. Oops. For now, we'll just place it. Okay. That's being a little difficult. For now, we'll just... Dang it. Um... <laughs> that, you know what? That's fine for now. No. No, it's still bothering me. It's still bothering me way too much. That's fine. Alright, so... <laughs> now we can open this thing. And... As you can see here, there is a bunch of different armors that we can make. And on this series on the channel, guys, we will be making all of them for you guys to see. Now, to start off, we need to start with the Stark Under Armor. Uh, it does cost a thousand tokens. Oh, I did not expect that. Okay, so we have 891, so we need a little bit more. So I think if we go mining real quick, we could get enough. I honestly thought it was free, but apparently not. Um, so yeah, all these armors, all you need is tokens. And if you didn't know how to get tokens, you do it by uh, uh, killing mobs and by mining ore that is for the Legends mod. <laughs> oh man. I don't think we're going to enough. Let's go sleep real quick. Actually, no. Don't go sleep. Wake up. We could actually fight some mobs if we don't get enough here. Oh no, Iron does get some. Okay. Yeah, it's not all that expensive. So let's go fight some mobs real quick that it's night. Some normal ones though that I can take out, like zombie here. I don't want to be fighting any of those like stone statues that I can take out. I mean, look at how long it takes me to take out a single zombie. It's like 191 HP, my sword is 20. It's like at least like eight hits. It's ridiculous. See if we can muster up enough here. And oh my gosh, we're still 20 short. <laughs> okay. Mm, what should we do? Mining or fighting? There's a creeper over here. I kind of want revenge. Yeah, we're going to go get revenge for blowing me up earlier. See, I know what I'm doing this time, but I have an army of zombies heading my way as well. Come on, zombies. Wait your turn. Okay, now they all just... Now, okay, now they're just... Nope, 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 nope. I'm not fighting all of you at the same time. Ouch, what was that? Hey, things are not going right at all. I mean, they never do crazy crap. It's just, well, crazy. Um, yeah, I don't feel like fighting a Minotaur. Oops. Oh. Okay, well, I have to fight the zombie at least. Yeah, dude, why don't you just come in? Yeah, just come in. Let's take a seat. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm four off. I have to kill one more zombie, okay. That's better than fighting the Minotaur. Um, so you're over there. Where are the zombie friends at? Go away. Stop. You have way too much health. Come on. I'm not taking hits. I'm not taking. I'm not, I'm not getting hit by you. I packed a bunch. And now the zombies are okay. Why don't you come in here? And then I'm done. Come on. Come on. Okay. We should have enough now. Yes, we do. We have exactly enough. Right. I can't rest. Okay. Um. Does this guy count as a monster? Yeah, he does. Okay, fine. Fine, I'll just take out all of them. Why not? Stuck there, buddy? Alright. Now that we've controlled the chaos, 
Let's make our Stark suit finally. Only 20 minutes in, and we're finally making it. Okay. So all none of this is EMC, so we're just gonna chuck it in here. And let's make the Iron Man. Oh shoot, Ton, we gotta take off our diamond armor. Let's make ourselves the Stark Under Armor. Yeah, there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. So now we don't need diamond armor. Because as long as we keep this uh, in shift shape, it's stronger than diamond armor. Alright, so you can already see there, there are some of the effects. We can now fly temporarily, which is great for movement. Yeah, how do you think about me now, Creeper, huh? So unfortunately, this suit does not have any weapons or anything. Uh, it does have Jarvis, but Systems uh, online. I can't do anything because uh, it's the Under Armour. But the good thing about this is, is it's stronger than Diamond, and I can now temporarily fly, and I basically can hover and super jump. So this is great. Now, let us start working on the start, the not the start, the suit assembly unit. And then once we're done with that, and the generator, we'll work on our uh, slime farm for tokens for superhero suits, and then we'll be uh, done for today. All right. So this thing costs a lot of black iron, so you need to make sure you have yourself a lot of black iron. Like, I don't even know if I have enough of this, but we're just going to cross our fingers and hope we do. Because it is a lot, and I mean a lot. So we need four blocks, which is probably going to be my whole stack here, yeah. So there's our four blocks. And let's see what else we need. So we need a crafting table and a high-tech um, tablet thing again. I don't know why it didn't come up. Okay. So we need our electronics again. Once again. And then I believe our redstone repeater. I honestly can't remember what else. Let's see. Let's see here. Oh, titanium. Good thing we still have some of that too. So we're looking good. Let's go here. There we go. Put those bad boys in. Nope. There we go. So now we're looking good um, to make this. So we have the high tag. Now we just need the monitor. <clears throat> okay, now here's the part where I don't know if I got enough <laughs> materials for. So we need three black iron and then we need six here. So that's nine. Okay, so we, we have just the perfect amount for that. Now the black lights. So we need tungsten. Light, stone, and glass pane. Okay, so we did craft glass panes here. We do have lightning and with a tiny bit of tungsten. So let's see if it'll be enough. Okay, we have all three. Now, we need two electronics, three black um, lights. So we have two electronics. We still have the high tech, extra high tech ones. Um, yeah, so regular electronics. We need polarized glass pane. Okay, so we need to make some vertical panels with the glass. I believe it's just. No, that's not. I don't want to fill the whole thing. I think. Like that, yep, there you go. So there's one of those, and then horizontal. Yep, there's a horizontal. How many do we need exactly? Just one and two, okay. And then a color filter, which is just glass panes and cactus, lapis, and red dye. So we have all that, so we can just grab that. There's a lapis. Uh, there's a red rose. What was the last one? Cactus, there you go. Now we can crap that up. Boom. Oh, no, no, no. We need this first. There we go. So boom, 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 boom. And there we go. Now we have the color filter. And that'll be the last piece to making the monitor. No, it's not. What am I doing? Okay. <laughs> 
I need the polarized glass pane first. So it looks like the vertical goes here, horizontal, color filter, and then the six black arm. And there we go. Now we can make ourselves the monitor. Three there. That one there. And there we go. There is our monitor. And now we can build the final product of the suit assembly unit. Now this one is definitely not fitting in the house. So, um, yeah, I need to figure out where to put a house. Um, I guess for now, we'll just make it right back here. Just for now. So there we go. There's the suit assembly. Now, as you see, when I uh, right-click on it, it says machine must be powered first. So that's where the um, generator comes into play. So let's put some of this back. We might need some of it, but we can always grab it back out if we do. So now we need ourselves a generator. Um, let's see. There it is. Oh, there's a little bit of lag. Okay, so we need aluminum plates. So we, we got plenty of aluminum, but I think we can make enough. So how many do we need here? We need four. Oh boy. Okay, this is going to be another close one, actually, to see if we have enough for all this. So there's the four aluminum plates. We need two high-tech. We have one already, so we can just easily craft some more. There we go. And then what was the last thing we need? I think. Should have these recipes memorized by now, but I definitely do not. Is that even how it goes? Yes, it is, actually. Okay, I did it. No way. All right, so there you go. And then we need these <laughs> long crafting things. It takes forever. Temperature regulator. So aluminum, a fan. That, of course, is made of more aluminum. Ugh. Okay, uh, we need a little bit of iron, though. So give me, I think it's about seven iron, if I'm not mistaken. So three aluminum like this. And then all around is iron to give us a fan. Can it cool me down? No. Oh, all right. Uh, <laughs> so now that we got the fan, now we need the pack dice, which we have. We need electronics and aluminum. That's easy. It's all EMC value. So we really made the pack dice. Yep, here it is. Uh, which pack dice is just ice, nine blocks of ice to make pack dice. So not that complicated, not that hard. Um, what was the other thing we need? Electronics, all right. There we go. Let's just grab four. I didn't really see how many I needed. All right. Now we should be able to make this. Yes, we can. There we go. Aluminum and the two electronics to make ourselves the temperature regulator. So there's that, and then the four aluminum over here. And then now we can craft our final piece, which is the actual engine. And of course, we need another fan. <laughs> Oof, we're going to be tight on the aluminum here. All right, let's see if we can do this. I don't know if we have enough. Oh, no. Yeah, we have a perfect amount. So we just need, and we just need six more iron. Oh, oh, whoa, no, that's not, <laughs> definitely don't need that much. Did I do it wrong? Oh, yes, I did do it wrong. So we're going to go like that. There we go. Now we have ourselves the fan. And now we just need the aluminum plate, some iron. Black iron and electronics, and that's it. Oh my gosh, we are broke. <laughs> Black iron. That was the last amount that we have. And then we just need two more pieces of iron. Two. There you go. And now we should be able to craft it. The engine. One, two. Fan. Aluminum. Three iron. And two black iron. Yeah, so we're broke on black iron. So it doesn't look like we're making any <laughs> superheroes that require any black iron because 
we're broke. All right, so let's go to the generator now. Now it looks like we should have everything we need to create it. Our high tech, temperature regulator, our engine, and our four aluminum plates to make ourselves the Legends mod generator. So let's go out here and put it, let's put this stuff away real quick. Let's bring out some lightning stone just to show you guys how it works. Uh, and we'll also bring, actually, let's bring up a piece of coal just to showcase for you guys a little bit. So turning night. Yeah, but whatever. All right. So I can actually fly out. I don't know why I did that. Oh, there's a mantis. I don't really want to fight him. Let's see if he goes away. Oh, he is coming to me. Um, I'm not ready to fight you yet. No way. Get too strong. And that noise is really annoying. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was not planned, but you guys just got to see a mini boss fight for one of the objects that we need for Big Bertha. I did not think he was going to come at me like that. But, um, so yeah, he dropped two mantis claws that's kind of weird um mantis claws are you are part of making big bertha so we can hang this up somewhere just hang it up over here and we have an extra um just gonna stick that in there and he dropped the diamond oh nice it's actually pretty worth it not gonna lie i did think he was gonna be this i did not know that this star karma was that good yet okay so let's get rid of this so yeah, that's one of the pieces. I can actually show you real quick. Big Bertha, I believe it's part of the handle. Yep, the Big Bertha hand, a mantis claw. So that's one piece already down, not even trying. <laughs> All right, now let's get back to where we were before we were rudely interrupted. So <clears throat> generator has to stand directly behind the suit assembly unit, so it's linked. I believe you can make it farther away, but you need redstone to connect it, the power. So now, a generator, you can uh, power it with coal, lightning stone, or uh, a nether star. I believe a nether star lasts for 24 hours, which is insane, considering how hard a nether star is to get. Um, coal lasts like 30 seconds, and lightning stone, I believe, is about a minute with one ingot. And with the block, I think it's like five minutes. So I like to use lightning stone. Because I don't really need it for anything else other than certain suits that I want to make, uh, like the Flash or the Reverse Flash or any of the fast characters. But otherwise, I don't really need it for anything else. So I like powering it. So look, if I show you right here, it's gone. You saw the red bar? That was the power, and it's gone. The coal does not last whatsoever. But if I put two uh, lightning stone, you can see here, it's not as long. It's longer, but not too long. What do you mean machine must be powered first? It is powered. Hold on. Throwing a lightning stone. There you go. Now it's turned on. I should have saw that turned on. So now we have ourselves a suit assembly unit. So here you can see each other current balance of tokens again. 21. That's horrible. So we have a bunch of superheroes, super villains that we can now make with certain materials and with tokens. A lot of tokens you can see here. So uh, let me know in the comments below which superhero you want or super villain. Do you want me to do? You want to see me do first? Um, Robin is always a good one to start off with because it's cheap. But with the Iron Man Stark suit, Under Armour, I don't think we should do that. I think we should go for a higher character like Spider Man, Iron Spider. Let me know in the comments what uh, character you want to see, uh, and I uh, will take it into consideration on who to make first. But. We have one more thing now that we want to do today before we end the video and stream. And that is start working or possibly finish our slime farm. So to make an efficient farm uh, that I have learned how to make, uh, you need to work with the soul mod. I think it's called something like that. Yeah, soul shards, the old ways mod. So basically... I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to craft it and show you. 
and then I'll explain what each does a little bit along the way. So first off, we need to make some vial dust. To make vial dust, you need a philosopher's stone, which we found. They're pretty easy to find when you kill objects. They You'll get them normally. You need soul sand and coal. Uh, I went to the nether and I got some soul sand off stream. It's kind of a pain, to be honest, because uh, there was just a bunch of bosses that kept trying to fight me. I was like, nope, I'm good. <laughs> so here's our coal and our philosopher's stone. So leave the coal loose here. Philosopher's stone there. Soul sand. And that's how you make some vial dust. Do we already have some that we crafted? No, we did not. Okay, so that's our first crafting of it. That's great. Okay. So no EMC value, so I can't stick it in the uh, transmutation table. So what we need to make is a soul forger. So you usually need three obsidian and then any type of cobblestone and then corrupted essence, which is the vial dust with some glowstone. So let's grab out our some glowstone. Uh, we'll make seven. Why not? You could always use more, I guess. I don't know. Seven. Yeah, it was great. All right. So now we just need some obsidian and cobblestone, which we have plenty of with the MC table. So there's three, and I think it's like six. So let's craft it real quick. So this will give us some of these the unbo unbound soul shard and the solium ingot now what these do is these unbound soul shards if you can see here it says tier one kills 64 and then tier two 128 kills so basically whatever mob you kill first with this will it'll attach it so instead of saying unbound it'll show whatever mob so for us we're gonna do a slime so we need to get 64 kills of, so we need to kill 64 slime for this to work and then what we can do is put it in the soul cage, which we're about to craft. And the soul cage, once you put it in the soul cage, you need to activate it with some sort of redstone power. I normally use just a redstone torch because it's the most basic and easy. Then it'll work just like a, um, what is it called? One of these. It'll work just like a spawner. That's I couldn't think of it. I couldn't think of the name. But it'll work exactly like a spawner. So... That's what we're doing here. So pretty uh, <laughs> creepy looking. And so now maybe, no, maybe so. There we go. Oh, so this gave us something totally different. Okay, so this gave us the soul shards, which is great. So now we need to go find slime and kill 64. <laughs> so then we can put it in the soul cage. Now, so if that gives us the soul, how do we get the sodium? Is it iron then? At that point? I know for sure that they're in swamps. Oh, there's a village. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, there's a bee guardian. That's, that's not good. Let's fly over him. No, don't fail me now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Fly, 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 fly. This is really slow. Oh my gosh. Okay, we made it inside. We're good. Right, let's waypoint this actually. It's pretty cool. Village. There we go. Didn't mean to find this, but it is a great find. So we can see all the mobs that are around. So it doesn't look like any slime really spawn in acacia. Otherwise, there would be a couple. But it also could be because we're. Uh, what is that? Yeah, no. Bye. <laughs> there we go. There's a swamp. It's perfect. So this is where all the slime will spawn. And where we'll be going to fight slime. And, okay, come on, please. Just work <laughs> for a second. The zombie with a pig on his hat. A, a pig hat. Pig on his hat. Uh, stop. Leave me alone. I'm trying to find a place to... At a waypoint. Alright, so this is a swamp... Definitely should be green, not pink. So here's our swamp. This is perfect. So if we look here, we should see a couple slime, maybe. If not, we're going to have to fly around and look for some. But it is good to know now. This is definitely what we'll be coming back in the next stream to um, kill some slime and get 64 of them. Uh, I think off camera, uh, we will get those 64 slime. 
Uh, and then we'll do a little sh small stream on making our, uh, our what's it called completely. Oh, so it did give us the nuggets. Okay, so we need to do a couple more then to get the ingots. I don't remember how you get the ingots by themselves and not the nuggets. Anyways, so off stream, we'll get the 64 slime. Uh, and then we'll stream again on making the, um, what's it called? I always forget about it. What's it called? Slime farm. We'll make the slime farm. And then we'll also reveal which superhero we ended up deciding to make first. Um, obviously, we're going to spend a lot of time off stream getting tokens so we can make and work our way up this Iron Man uh, ladder. And uh, on this working for the superheroes as well. Yeah, this is, has to be more than enough. And there we go. Now we can craft ourselves the soul cage. And that will be it. There's the soul cage. In all its flying glory. So let's thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed that video. Like I said before... Next video, we'll be making our our uh, slime farm and working on uh, deciding who our uh, first superhero that we're going to make is out of the suit assembly. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure, if you like what you see, to support the channel by leaving a like on this video and subscribing. Um, and please make sure to check out my Twitch channel at The Pre-Avengers if you haven't already. We'll see you guys in the next one.